Produced by Otto Garcia. Front range hip hop. Morning guys, Al here from AM Training. So of course you guys see my three lift challenge that was issued by Endomorphies. And you know, you guys gave me great feedback. Uh, you know, you guys were saying, oh, 67 squats, that's amazing. But I got no love for the bench. You guys, um, of course, I, I, to be expected, I only did 22 reps, nothing groundbreaking, it was okay. Um, and that's what I'm gonna talk about, is uh, my weakness in the bench. And the training tip for today is muscle balance. I, I touched on this a little bit before. Um, so it's basically Charles Colquitt's work, how he bases things off of a particular lift. Um, I'm actually gonna talk about, uh, base it off of uh, the deadlift. So according to one of his articles, um, if you deadlift 500 pounds, um, for your back squat, it should be relatively around 70, 72 or 75 percent. I can't remember on the article. So that would break, that would bring my uh, 520 uh, deadlift. Um, that's the last time I tried it to a around like a 300, 390 uh, uh, squat. And also, according to a deadlift, if you have relative strength with that one, if you compare it to the bench press, you're gonna look at 55 pound, uh, 55 percent. So 55% of the 520, that's going to be, I already did the math pre ahead of time, and that's going to be 285. I wish I could be like, oh yeah, if I carry the one over, um, carry the one over, I'm Asian, so this should be quick, it's going to be 285. But no, it's, uh, I did that on the calculator real quick, it's 285, and that's pretty, pretty close to my max in my bench. Um, given that I haven't trained, I haven't tested my max in my deadlift in a little bit, in a while, so those numbers are pretty, pretty hand in hand. So even though um, in my three lift challenge I do horribly bad uh, or compared to my squat and deadlift, 22 uh, reps compared to my squat, 67 reps, um, I, I'm relatively balanced, balanced, but I know my bench press is my weaker point. Um, so that is a training tip for a day is just trying to make sure everything is, is in the correct ratio. So the deadlift, if you base off it, everything off your deadlift, that's 100%. And then you got your back squat, that's gonna be 72, 75% of that. So they should be pretty close. Everyone's gonna be different, of course. Um, and then also the bench press should be around 55 pounds, including, he also includes pull-ups. So if you're benching 300 and you weigh 200 pounds, you better be able to do a pull-up with 100 pounds on you. Um, I also touched base before that external rotation help. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a physical therapy aide, not a physical therapist, so I definitely see a lot of people that need a lot of external rotation work. And if you're bench pressing 300 pounds, uh, I believe you have to do 10% of that. So you have to do th uh, a 30 pound dumbbell, a sideline 30 pound dumbbell, and do the external rotation and do that for eight reps, according to Charles Paulson. Um, I'm also going to touch base on this later on. Um, I'll talk about the rule of 90, but that's a future video. I, I think this video is kind of getting, getting a little bit too long. So, all right, train hard, train smart, guys. All right, guys, Shaco 37, day six. It requires me to squat, bench, and then squat again. As you can see, I'm training again at my friend's gym. He has a new power rack. He has a new, he has all new weights, and he has a new bar. But the new bar, I don't know if we could call it new anymore because it has a bend in it um, I'm not quite sure if it was from all the deadlifting we did before um, I'd like to think so because then that's kind of uh, boosting my ego but it was only 420 that we were deadlifting or so um, nothing too crazy where it's supposed to bend it but uh, he didn't notice that there was a bend in the bar I had to tell him I mean I, I barely noticed it but it, it definitely threw me off a little just because it was trying to roll on my back even though I was keeping nice and tight it was still kind of pitching me forward depending on where the bend was and of course I'm not talking about a regular bend kind of like how a, a bar has a whip to it um, this one was straight on um, if you take off the weights actually that's how I showed him I took off the weights and I put it on the floor and it spun it on the floor and you can see it kind of do this little cattywampus kind of thing Catty, cattywampus little bobble Another thing that's throwing me off is the size of these bumper plates. They all kind of look the same and they all are huge compared to my metal plates. And that's kind of throwing me off because I feel like the weight is even heavier. Or it looks like the bar is even heavier. It's a psychological thing, no doubt, but it's making me feel like I'm not being as explosive as I should be. Alright guys, thanks again for watching. Remember to train hard and train smart.